appropriate communication. The executive office continue to assess developments associated with, you know, in light of recent developments, we have made the decision that employees should work remotely, effective immediately, until March 31st. Gotta be kidding me. Now do I boogaloo? Damn neighbor's dog again. Crap in my yard. What is your problem? Why? Now do I boogaloo? Hey guys, I just wanted to do a video that kind of lighten the mood with everything that's going on right now. I know that uh, a lot of people may be a little uneasy, a little stressed out, maybe uh, even a little scared, and that's perfectly fine. I mean, this is a very unknown time, and something that we haven't seen in about 100 years, since um, 1919, 1920, somewhere in there with the Spanish flu. Now, with that being said, this is actually the time to really show everyone what the 2A community is all about. I mean, we should be a community, and unfortunately, I'm seeing a lot of um, people who think that they're a part of the community not act very communal, if, if that makes any sense. Uh, the point that I'm trying to make is that we should not be out there panic buying. We should not be hoarding ammunition. Uh, we shouldn't be doing those types of things. If you're buying ammunition now, then you're way behind the power curve. You've missed out on time to get out to the range. You've missed out on time to sight in your, your rifle or your pistol to make sure that you're, you're good to go. You've missed time to pattern your shotgun. You've missed time to actually go out and get training. You've missed a lot of things when it comes to your firearms and that uh, really kind of shows a lot of the mindset that's going on. Not to mention we have a lot of companies out there that are taking advantage of the situation and it's just, it's ridiculous to spend $900 on a thousand rounds of 5.56223. That is absolutely ridiculous. So, um, you know, shame on those companies. I, I think that that is uh, ridiculous that they would uh, try to capitalize on something like this. One company is actually doing it again. After Sandy Hook, they did it. Now they're doing it again. So cheaper than dirt, you're dead to me. So, and have been for quite some time. I just wanted to reiterate that fact. <laughs> but realistically, the question that we should be asking is, are we a community? Are we reaching out to our neighbors and talking with them? Hey, what is, what is your plan for X, Y, and Z? Are you plussed up with this or do you have that or whatever the case may be? I'm not saying that you should go over to your neighbors and say, hey, I got a whole big arsenal. If you need anything, come on over. I'm not saying that. What I am saying though is that we should be reaching out to our neighbors, uh, reaching out to our family members, uh, letting them know that, hey, if you need anything, I'm here to help. Um, it, maybe we can barter if you've got something I need, you know, start that, 
type of conversation, even though it may not go that route, we need to be prepared. You know, and for, fortunately for me, I've been able to start preparing long before, and my job allows me to have a lot of visibility globally, so I kind of saw what was happening. I saw the writing on the wall in early January and uh, started making preparations way back then. So I'm fortunate because I have that type of job that allows me to focus in very intently on global economy, global market, global current events. So um, I'm fortunate. However, uh, I'm not a um, doomsday type of person, right? So uh, I wasn't out there sounding the bells and whistles about all of this ahead of time because you know, realistically we didn't know what was going to happen. But with that being said, when it comes to the community aspect, we really need to be focused on what are we doing to not only protect ourselves, but to also protect those individuals around us as well, because your neighbors could be a very good early warning system for you, regardless of what that looks like. You know, start talking about infill and exfill routes if you need to bug in or bug out. You know, if you get caught out, you know, what are you gonna do then? You know, are you taking precautions like uh, making sure your gas tank is full, never gets below a quarter tank or half a tank or whatever the case may be? Start having those conversations. Talk to your family. If you have family that's away from you, start having conversations about how are they going to get to you or how are you going to get to them if you need to. Those are the things that we should be focused on, not buying toilet paper because, you know, realistically, if that's what you did and you went out and got toilet paper, uh, you're focused on the wrong thing, right? This is not a diarrhea type of flu. This is a upper respiratory st style of illness. And um, yeah, uh, you're not going to need much toilet paper. If anything, you should be plussing up on um, wet wipes, you know, because if the water goes off, then you have the ability to clean things. You have the ability to wash yourself. You have the ability to wipe yourself. Yeah, that's what you should have been looking at a long time ago. So with that being said, let us be who we believe that we are and maintain a level head and really kind of reach out to those people that haven't been preparing. Reach out to those people that don't know how to protect themselves, you know, and, and really solidify that community aspect. I got a little bit of an anecdote here real quick. Um, buddy of mine, you guys may know him, he was on the live chat uh, a few weeks ago, Reno May, he's out in California, runs a YouTube channel, and on his Instagram, he had a guy asking him, hey, you know, I'm 21, uh, because of the laws in California, I can't buy ammunition because my driver's license address and my physical address don't match, so because of their system, he couldn't buy ammo, is there any way that you can help? And some other dude jumped into the feed and said, hey, where are you at? I've got some extra, let me get you squared away. And then Reno jumped in and said, if you can meet me right here, I got at least two magazines for you that I can uh, you know, let you use and let you have. And that's exactly what I'm talking about, is coming together, not hoarding ourselves, hoarding our stuff, you know, but making sure that we've got as many people ready to go as possible. Realistically, this is not going to be a Mad Max type of thing, so you're not going to need freaking thousands of rounds. You're probably gonna need like a battle loadout. That's seven magazines or less. That's 210 rounds, right, for for your rifle. If, if, you're, if you're running a pistol, maybe five magazines, you know, so depending on what type of pistol it is. So just don't lose your head, all right? That being said, for, for real, I'm working from home until the 1st of April, <laughs> and that's not an April Fool's joke. <laughs> and uh, so hopefully I'll be bringing you guys some more videos, maybe lightening the mood a little bit. So, But with that being said, that's really all I got this time. Thanks for swinging by. I hope you guys had a little bit of a chuckle and just, you know, like I said, roll with the punches. We're going to be in for it for a while. All right, we'll get out of here. See you guys next time. Take care. As always, freedom through strength. See you later. Bye, y'all.